Okay, class, so now uh, 23, I hope you have done it. Okay, so what is different from 23 and 22 is that uh, question 23 itself requires cosine 2z. So if you look at the equation itself, you'll see cosine 2z and cosine z, meaning I have to change my cosine 2z to become z, so there is only one trigger ratio. Uh, there's only one trigger ratio. If not, it will be changing cosine z to 2z, cosine 2z, which is quite difficult. So we will do the other way around. So the tricky part about cosine 2z is that there's actually three different formulas that I can use. So if you look at it carefully, right, which formula should you use? Should I use the first one, the second one, or the third one here? Okay, I hope you have chosen the correct one. The first one will be the one that we want to use because for uh, after substituting it in, I will only have cosine x. But for the remaining one, if I actually put it in, it will exist sine, sine z and cos z or cos z, sine z, everything. Uh, everything will be there. So it will, it's not easy to solve. So what you do next is just substitute it in. Let me write down the equation first. Okay, so we will do our substitution using the first equation. So it will be 2 cosine square z minus 1. Okay, so we will just open up the bracket. I hope you will be able to see. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange. So now we are at this equation already. Is this equation very familiar? You find that it's just a quadratic equation. Usually, how do you solve a quadratic equation? Okay, other than using a quadratic formula, we also do this thing called factorize. So we need to factorize to get zero product. So we will just factorize first to get zero product. I hope your mental sum is good. So we have cos z and cos z. It will just be 1 and 1. So what do I multiply to get negative cosine z? Okay, if I put a negative here, a positive here, it will be negative 2 cos z plus cos z, which gives me negative cos z. So ta-da! Okay, now since it's zero product already, right, I can simply just split it up to two different equations again. So cos z minus 1 equals, uh, minus one sorry, equals to 0. Okay, making it uh, cos z has a subject first. Let's quickly do this. Okay, equals to 1. Okay, so now we know that we are actually looking out for cos z only, okay? Meaning to say my range is supposed to just be 0 radian, okay, z to 2 pi. So I don't need to find additional range. Okay, now, once we are here already, same thing, we will just do left and right hand side. So the first one we are going to see is, okay, we will find the reference angle first. So to find reference angle for the one at the left hand side, I'll just cosine inverse, remember, cosine inverse the positive value. Okay, uh, take note, uh, this question is a bit tricky because I actually added in this thing. Exact solution. Exact solution should give you an idea that I might have to leave my answer in terms of pi. So for exact solution, right, if I know it's a special angle and I need to leave answer in pi, it will be best to actually leave your calculator in degree mode so that I can do my conversion, okay? So for example, for this case, I just do my cosine inverse of half. The angle I'll get is 60 degree. 60 degree is how many radian? Pi is 180 degree. So 60 degree is just taking 180 divided by 3, which means it's pi over 3. Okay, is that clear? So a bit tricky here, but take note. Ah. Then the next one, okay, we can also do the same one first. Ah. Same since I'm going to do special angle also. If I were to do cosine inverse of 1 to get the reference angle, oh, this one easy easy, just 0. So let me complete this first. So my reference angle is equal to cosine inverse 1, which gives me 0. Okay, so now we are at this step already, right? Remember exact value, ah? so later I have to take note that I'm going to use only exact value. Okay, so for this case, I want to get cosine value that is negative. Which quadrant of cosine will give me a negative value? Okay, it's the second and third quadrant. You know that? So, if it's the second quadrant, I'll take pi minus reference angle. If it's the third quadrant, I'll take pi plus reference angle here. Okay? So, let's continue move on. Okay, 
since this is actually z i'll write it as z is equals to now i know it's in my second quadrant and my third quadrant here so second quadrant is going to be pi minus reference angle so it's like saying pi minus pi over 3. i know some of your mental sum is very good but if you are not good at mental sum you can press it in treat pi like x so it will be like saying that x minus one third x calculator you can put one minus one third here you'll get two third which is two pi over three this is the usual way we prefer to write it has okay similarly for the third quadrant we want pi plus pi over three it's like saying x plus x over three okay so it's just one plus one third being lazy again i'll just do this and you get this usually for our case where we do we work with radian we are uh, or exact value of pi we prefer improper so we already has 4 pi over 3 tada that's all okay can i add one more cycle 4 third plus 2 you realize it will get out of the range similarly for 2 third plus 2 so we will leave it as it is so we are done at the, for the left hand side now the right hand side so similarly, ASTC, if I treat cos uh, no, cosine z is actually a positive value. Which quadrant does cosine give a positive value? First and fourth quadrant here, which means it's just my reference angle and 2 pi minus my reference angle here. So similarly, I'll just write z again is equals to the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant here first quadrant being just reference angle is just zero radian fourth quadrant is two pi minus zero which gives me two pi radian okay i don't have to do anything else it's within the range and that's all so final answer since everything is not arranged in order i'll keep it in order so it'll be zero two pi over three four pi over three and two pi and that will be your answer for question 23 is this clear okay question 24 is again quite similar but this time around question 24 requires tangent and requires you to do your um a bit of substitution method might work okay so try it on your own before you look at the next video thank you